Tornadoes are nature's most violent storms. Spawned from powerful thunderstorms, tornadoes can flatten a neighborhood in minutes. If a tornado warning were issued, what would you do? Where would you go? The time to prepare is now. Put together a family emergency plan. Discuss with your family how to get to a safe place, how to communicate with one another, and where to meet up after the event is over. Identify an out-of-state family member or friend to act as the family contact. Free resources are available from ready.gov. Put together a basic emergency supply kit. It should include a three-day supply of non-perishable foods and water, one gallon per person per day, a first aid kit, portable radio, flashlights and batteries, medications and other essential items. You might also include cash, a helmet, IDs, and a spare set of keys. Find out where local shelters are and the fastest way to get there. Purchase a NOAA weather radio. It will broadcast tornado watches and warnings. You can also receive wireless emergency alerts on your cell phone. Make sure your wireless notification setting is turned on. Practice periodic drills so that you and your family members know what to do if a tornado warning is issued. Safety is job number one. Get weather ready. Could this be what your home looks like after the next hurricane strikes? Many people thought storms like Katrina or Sandy would never really happen. If you had to evacuate, where would your family go? What would you take with you? The time to prepare is now, not when the evacuation order is given. Put together a family emergency plan. Discuss with your family how to get to a safe place how to communicate with one another, and where to meet up after the event is over. Identify an out-of-state family member or friend to act as the family contact. Free resources are available from ready.gov. Put together a basic emergency supply kit. It should include a three-day supply of non-perishable foods and water, one gallon per person per day, a first aid kit, portable radio, flashlights and batteries, medications, and other essential items. You might also include cash, credit cards, IDs, and a spare set of keys. Know your community's warning systems. Learn community hurricane evacuation routes and how to find higher ground. Find out where local shelters are and the fastest way to get there. Purchase a NOAA weather radio. It will broadcast warnings, watches, and forecasts 24 hours a day until the storm has passed. You can also receive wireless emergency alerts on your cell phone. Make sure your wireless notification setting is turned on. Safety is job number one. Get weather ready. If your area is under a tornado warning, act now. You may only have a few minutes to get to safety. Seek shelter immediately. Go to a safe room, basement, storm cellar, or the lowest level in a sturdy building. If there is no basement, go to the center of the building and away from windows and doors. Put as many walls as possible between you and the outside. Get under a sturdy object like a table and cover yourself with pillows and blankets. Use your arms to protect your head and neck. A helmet can offer some protection too. If you are in a car, drive to a shelter immediately. 
If there isn't enough time and you are caught by extreme winds or flying debris, park the car as quickly and safely as possible out of the traffic lanes. Stay in the car with the seat belt on. Put your head down below the windows. Cover your head with your hands and a blanket, coat, or other cushion if possible. Do not park under an overpass or bridge, and never try to outrun a tornado in an urban or congested area. If you are outside, find the lowest point on the ground and lie face down. Use your arms to protect your head and neck. And most importantly, watch out for flying debris. It causes most fatalities and injuries. Safety is job number one. Get weather ready. After a hurricane has formed, the National Weather Service will issue a hurricane watch if hurricane conditions are possible in your area within 48 hours. This is a good time to restock any emergency supplies and review your emergency plan. Gather important documents like the deed to your home and insurance policies. Pack up your pets, medicines, and other essential items. Be prepared to evacuate if the orders are given. A hurricane warning is issued when hurricane conditions are expected within 36 hours. If a warning is issued, take immediate action. Secure your home, close storm shutters, and secure outdoor objects or bring them indoors. Ensure a supply of water for sanitary purposes, such as cleaning and flushing toilets. Fill the bathtub and other large containers with water. Stay indoors during the hurricane and away from windows and glass doors. Keep curtains and blinds closed. Close all interior doors. Secure and brace external doors. If you live near the coast, remember that storm surge is the deadliest part of a hurricane, so do not go outside. Do not be fooled if there is a lull. It could be the eye of the storm. Winds will pick up again. Continue to listen to your weather radio for information or instructions from your local officials. Check your phone for mobile alerts. Safety is job number one. Get weather ready. After the tornado has passed, continue to monitor your battery-powered radio or mobile device for emergency information and cooperate fully with public safety officials. Keep your family together and wait for emergency personnel to arrive. If you are trapped, try to attract attention to your location. Use a whistle or flashlight. Cell phone towers may be down, so send text messages rather than make phone calls. Check for injuries. Do not attempt to move seriously injured people unless they are in immediate danger of further injury. Do not remove helmets from injured people. If someone has stopped breathing, begin CPR. Stop a bleeding injury by applying direct pressure to the wound. Be aware of possible structural, electrical, or gas leak hazards in your home. Stay away from power lines and puddles with wires in them. They may still be carrying electricity. Watch out for nails, broken glass, and other sharp objects. Nearly half of all tornado injuries occur post-storm, so use extreme caution to avoid further injuries from debris and damaged buildings. Tornadoes can cause millions of dollars in damages. Make your emergency plans ahead of time and take the necessary precautions to stay safe during and after a twister. Safety is job number one. Get weather ready.
Just because a storm is over, the danger is not. Stay alert for extended rainfall and subsequent flooding, and stay indoors until the floodwaters recede. Drive only if necessary, and avoid flooded roads and washed out bridges. Never drive or walk through water covered roads. If you must go out, watch for fallen objects, downed electrical wires, and weakened walls, bridges, roads, and sidewalks. If you have been evacuated, only return when officials say it is safe to do so. Hurricanes can cause millions of dollars of damage, even billions of dollars. Make your emergency plans ahead of time and take the necessary precautions to stay safe during and after the storm. Safety is job number one. Get weather ready.